Mm -hmm. Hello! Hi! So, today we are going to talk about dun, 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 Monopoly, but not just any sort of game of Monopoly. This is Zelda Monopoly. The Legend of Zelda Monopoly. <laughs> so, can I say first that one of the things I absolutely love about this special edition is that not only is it got the gold writing and stuff that makes it feel very Zelda, but it also has the Hyrule symbol in it in like a lighter green, so it's kind of subtle, but also just the gold and the green itself. I think it's one of the cooler special edition boxes because a lot of them are either still heavy white or heavy black in their main coloring, so it doesn't feel as unique. And this just, oh. The green is so good. It's very sharp. <laughs> it's my favorite collector's edition. All right, here we go. Monopoly. It's a fast dealing property trading game ages eight and up. <laughs> so have you ever finished a game of Monopoly? All yes. The way through? I finally did once, but it was digital, so it kind of like kind of cheating. I've done it a lot and um, <laughs> I've won uh, quite a few times because I liked it. I like Monopoly. I love Monopoly. I have strategies on what lands to buy and which ones like have the highest percentage of being landed on and all that jazz. Well I know that but I always like to gamble mm -hmm. and what I like to do is go for the you know the Park Avenue the highest one. Oh sure. And once I get those and I trade my way for whatever what are the odds I'm like the odds are when I build up the hotels and it just takes that one roll to yeah. end the game and I win. Yeah, for sure. Because it's a good game. Yeah, I I could be going broke along the way paying all you guys, but then it mm -hmm. just takes one roll, boom, you're done, I win. Yeah. And that's how it happens. Anyway. That's a good strategy though. Um, but it doesn't always work because sometimes I go broke before I get to that point. So it's yeah. a, it's, a, it's a gamble for yep. sure. It depends on what you've done along the way. But I want to show the Ooh. board. And if you go for this, I'm sure. going to go zoom in and what you're filming. <laughs> so they can really see this. There we go. So check out this board. The board's cool. This is the Hyrulean Kingdom. It has Link right there real big in the middle. I know. So like any Monopoly game, you have the treasure chest area, and then you have the, uh, what is it called, the middle pot? Oh, like the community. Oh, the community, like where like you have to pay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a potion bottle, and then it's a treasure chest yes. for a community chest, which is cute. You so like Chance is the potion bottle. Um, what else is real fun? The empty bottle is what they call yes. it in here. I love catching fairies in the video game with oh, an empty yeah. bottle. So I guess that's why it's Chance, because it takes the place of the Chance cards. So, where is the beginning? Here's Jail. Here's Go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so one of the coolest things is they rename everything to fit Hyrule and to fit The Legend of Zelda. Well, I take that back. They don't rename jail. It still says in jail and free parking is still free parking. No matter what kingdom you're in, there's always a jail. Yeah, but instead of dollar sign, it's rupees on everything, which is fun. Um, but Ganondorf might punish you differently in that jail. But. Sure. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> um... What else is real fun? Yeah, everything's so like the Temple of Time is your boardwalk, Hyrule Castle the is your park place. Transportation. Yeah, so you've got Spirit Train. Um, the Loft Wing from that's from uh, Zelda Breath of the uh, Wind Waker, right? Mm -hmm. or, or Breath of the Wild. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it is uh, Wind Waker. Yeah. Because it's the Wii. The Loft Wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the King of the Red Lion. This is Wind Waker. Yeah. This is the GameCube. It yeah. has a little GameCube. So this is the King of the Red Lions, and that's the sailboat that he uses. Mm -hmm. So you've got one that's a where's that Spirit train. train. You yeah. have one that's a bird so that's flying. You have one that's a boat so that's water. And, and the Epona. It's the land. Yeah, that's dope. I love Epona. 
What did they do for like, so the bomb shop is one of the utilities and what's the other utility? The potion, potion shop. shop. So that's fun. That's a good play on everything. What are the, let's, allow that, let's go over the Okay. Different. So Elemental Sanctuary and Minish Village. Oh, Elemental Sanctuary. What is that, like a fairy place? Uh, I think so. It looks like it's from Nintendo. Yeah. It's cool because, like, the art on each one is from the actual game, too. Yeah, it includes all different Zeldas. Yeah. Like, every Legend of Zelda game, like, it has all different types of transportation. Oh, well, what? Is that another shop, the Mass Merchant? Thing? No, so that's one of the fees. That takes place of like the luxury tax, I oh. think. And this or this is luxury tax, and that's a medical in the original game or something. But they both pay spaces. So I love and hate that everything has original art, like the village and stuff. It's really cool that it's a screenshot from the game, but then the whole thing lacks consistency. So it would have been nice to have one overall art theme, I think, for everything. Um, oh, really? I think so. And then have a different Zelda Monopoly for each Zelda yeah, video game? Yeah, would be awesome. Uh, I like that idea. Get a different it. Zelda Monopoly game for each Zelda game? Oh, yeah. God, that would be cool. <laughs> Come I on, there are true Zelda nerds out there. I, yeah, I think it would make it a little more inventive. Um, I would like to see some of the main spaces. Like, we all know Go to Jail. I don't know why that art and stuff has to be original art. Like, I think the whole thing should be played with. Don't halfway do it. Like, this should have been Gandordorf himself. Yeah, like, yeah. Punishing like, your prison ass. or something, you know. Caught in a Hyrule holding cell. Like, something. There's there's yeah. ways to translate it very easily. Caught in the prison gra graveyard with those guys. I would have... <gasps> those zombie guys who jumped on you and started, oh, like, God. eating your face! Like... I that could be what happens. You get tortured in jail by one of those zombie guys. I would have liked to have gotten plastic rupees. You know, we all understand the Monopoly colors and you could easily label it, but the money should be different. I just feel like it tried to hold too hard to traditional things of Monopoly that just aren't necessary. Like, we know we're playing the Monopoly game. You can really have some extra fun with this. Like, getting rupees would have we're set We're getting this, this version because we already know how to play Monopoly. If you don't know how to play Monopoly, get the original Monopoly. Yeah. And then branch off into the advanced versions of Monopoly. Yeah, like, the houses and hotels aren't any different, except that the hotels, instead of being red or gold, but... Like, this could have been, um... Yeah, you could make The Kokiri Forest shape. little houses. Yeah. And this could be Hyrulean castles. Like, I feel like the special editions are already more expensive, so why only go so far? Why not go a little further? Now, the game pieces are cool. Yes! Let's go over the game pieces. Yeah. So, what is each one? So, this is Triforce. And they're nice. They're like a, like a brass-ish thing. Let's go over the game pieces. Okay. And then that one is a slingshot. Oh yeah, the slingshot, the shield. The shield. And the, shield. the grappling hook. Yep. To the bow and arrow. Yeah. And then this is what is this? The boomerang. Oh, that's what. So it is. my problem with this, like, they're nice pieces, but why aren't these characters? This. They definitely, like, I would much rather play, and I get it, they're weird Triforce things. Triforce is my favorite, though. Yeah, they're weird shapes in the actual Monopoly game, like, but again, like, we're playing the Legend of Zelda versions, or, so we should have had a Link, a Zelda, um, I would have liked to have seen characters. Ganondorf. Yeah. I like his, what is her name? Epona, you know, like. Oh, yeah. Own. Well, Epona's already on here as, like, That's a transportation. Um, what, what was that? The girl's name, the green haired girl that his friend in the Kokiri Forest. Oh, I forget, but I know who you're talking about. I would like to yeah, have her as a character. Super, She's like, so overlooked. I liked her. Yeah. Sorry, or Sari. Sari. Yeah. Sari. Sari. Yeah, yeah. Something Siri. like that. That's the stupid yeah. phone bitch. <laughs> uh, Sari, I think. Kyrie. Yeah. And Navi. Navi should have been a little Navi. fairy. Yeah. yeah. So the. It just ways it could have way been jazz, though. Because if she's not on the board, then she's up for grabs to be yeah. a character. You could have had Navi as free parking or something, you know? Hey, listen! Free parking! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, okay, I'll listen to that, Navi. So yeah. what, what else is there? There's Houses of... Is that the... House of Gale, Sacred Realm, Low Rule Castle, Forsaken Fortress, Tower of the Gods... 
Dragon Roost Island. Four Sword Sanctuary. Uh, Death Mountain. <laughs> Yates Palace. Okay. Garadu Desert. Zora's Domain. Uh, the Twilight Realm. Um, Snowhead. All right. Great Bay. Uh, Clock Town. Ah, uh, that's that stupid Majora's Mask. Yeah. Like, fuck that place. I hate Majora's Mask. My least favorite. It's scary. Fuck that place. What is this? Elaine or Eden Village, Farron Woods, Skyloft, Hyrule Castle, and Temple of Time. Temp yeah, that makes sense. That uh, so those are like the grand finale is Temple of Time and mm -hmm. Hyrule Castle. That yeah. Makes sense. Those were always the go-to places. For sure. My favorite Zelda game was Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah, me too. Ocarina of Time is cool. Yeah, and I like how there's a lot of that artwork mainly. This is one of my favorite, like, the chance cards. Yes! But it's attacked by Kuko's Go Back Three Spaces. <laughs> Transformed into The dice could have looked different too. Yeah. It could have been like gold or something. It just should have been fun. A little more fun. Green with gold dots. Skull Kid has tricked you. Take a ride on the spirit track. Break some pots. Yes! Always break the pots! Advance the Twilight Realm. Like, so the cards are pretty cool in terms of some of the stuff. Water Temple Woes. Go to jail. Holy shit. Treasure's chest. Shadows in the Deku tree. You have to pay 40 rupees for each Deku sprout and 115 rupees for each Deku tree. Damn. Oh, so the, uh, the houses are called Deku sprouts and these are called Deku trees. Oh. But that's not, that's only kind of clever. Like to me, that's more confusing. It's like, what do you these mean? These look like houses. Sprouts. Yeah. Again, that's that like half changing it and half not. We, we came up with it better. Where did you, where did you, and I have it zoomed in if you want to zoom out. Yeah, just to get a better look at all the things. So, how many boobs would you rate this game? How many boobs? How many boobs out of five tits? Two boobs. Two titties.